Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. What a great morning this morning. Look at Fisker now up 300% uh, over the last uh, week. In fact, you could have been up more than 500% if you'd bought at the two cents, if you go from there, uh, which is where we were talking about it. Now, just got to be careful. Got to show you a bit of news uh, information here. I want to share with you uh, where this could go. And it's really important. My job is to entertain, provide information, update you minute by minute, live 12 hours a day. My job is not to buy the stock, pump the stock, dump the stock. I don't own it. I'm here for you. I only own the S&P, as you know. Right. Let me share with you the chart. It's looking really, really exciting. Of course, everyone's excited. Uh, we bought it here at two cents. Uh, many of my members did. And now, of course, we're coming up to that nine cents, nearly 10. In fact, it was 10 cents earlier. So that's a 500% swing. Very, very nice indeed. I hope you made it. Uh, now, what's happening? Why is this happening? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Reasons. Of course, we've got Fisco has just signed the new uh, dealer partner in Miami. It's sending out emails, it's dealing, it's dealing, it's, send, it's selling cars, it's selling merchandise. It's literally selling merchandise. If you're on the list, the email list, you'll be getting emails about merchandise you can buy. It's all going. It's all systems go at Fisker. Uh, this is just out. We saw this uh, yesterday. Fisker said it is signed a Fisker Miami as a dealer partner. The company is second in Florida ask after Fisker Jacksonville. The company now has six dealer partner locations in the US. Florida is an important EV market for Fisker. So we're excited that we can uh, welcome Fisker Miami to our growing group of dealer partners. So you've got to be really, really careful now. I mean, I'm saying be careful. It's great, great news, but can we make money from this? Well, of course, we've made 500% over the last week if you did buy that two cents uh, position. But let's be absolutely clear. The money printer is on if you were in at two. Uh, no doubt about it. The money is stacking up. You're making money, which is really, really great. But we, need, we now need to look over the numbers because any day now we're going to get the uh, the, the meeting, the reverse split meeting. Uh, now, are we going to get back on the index? What's going to happen? There's lots of news flying around, lots of rumors, lots of people spreading false information. So this is what I'm going to say to you. This is my thoughts on it. What you do, of course, is up to you. And I know many of you won't listen to this, and that's absolutely fine. You do your own thing. But we can see what we got now is a really, really nice pump here. Great. 500%. The way I look at it, is you've made as much money as you could make on the S&P in five years with the 500 best companies in the world. Why would you not take your profit? Remember though, if you take your profit on your brokerage, you're going to pay very uh, the, the highest capital gains tax. If you bought it on your IRA, Roth, traditional, or in, the, or in the UK, ISA, individual savings account, then of course you can trade it out for free. You can take all those profits for free. Now, of course, uh, there's, there's every chance if things go well and we re-enter the index, and uh, you know, we save the company and that's all great. I say we because it is we, it's all of us together here talking about Fisker. If um, we save the company and uh, you buy the stock and it gets a good deal and it continues business, that is great. There's nothing wrong with re-entering the market at a dollar. There's nothing wrong with re-entering the market at five dollars. Absolutely nothing wrong in doing that at all. Because at the end of the day, uh, what you're looking what you're looking for is to buy a company. Not a, stock, not a stock price, a company at an undervalued price of where it's going to be in the future. Now, if the stock shot up to a dollar, say for example, or let's go crazy, let's say it shoots to its intrinsic value. Let's say it goes all the way to $4, which is the intrinsic value, of course. Let me share that with you, how we come to that conclusion. I'll bring it up to you. I'll bring it on the screen now. FSR, this is being made live uh, in a show, so you know this is genuine and real. I don't edit these videos at all. Don't need to. I can make them live. Um, so let me just bring this up now. Fisker, 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 uh, FSR. Uh, there it is. If, uh, if, uh, for example, and in fact, look, the intrinsic value is skyrocketing at the moment. Now this looks crazy, right? This is the intrinsic value. Everyone wants a t-shirt with this on. They want a t-shirt and a mug with uh, Fisker intrinsic value. And you can see why, because the intrinsic value is $614. 
Yep, you heard me right. $614. How do we come to that conclusion? It's based upon uh, cash, balance sheet. It's based upon orders. It's based upon lots of metrics. If you don't know what the intrinsic value is, and if you're like unsure of it, let me bring it on the screen. You might want to pause there. But this is what the intrinsic value is. Now, we have to remind you before anybody goes crazy and goes, oh my God, really? $600? I need to put a health warning with this. The FSI intrinsic value estimate is unreliable because it is based only on multiples and doesn't use DCF valuation because we don't have those metrics. However, that's what some people are looking at. Some people think it's the new Tesla. It's going to be $614. Uh, Marcus Brownlee has tried to push it down. We've got uh, Elon Musk who bought AI.com and then pointed it at Marcus Brownlee's YouTube channel. And all he did was uh, run down Fisker. So people are looking at that. Hopefully not investors, hopefully not you, but gamblers are looking at that and thinking, oh my God, really? Is that where it can go? Well, the intrinsic value is unreliable. However, however, if the, the company starts turning around and starts doing well and uh, we get great news, then uh, it's nothing wrong with buying it at $1, $4, $5, $10, nothing at all if you then think it's going to go to 600 is it? It doesn't matter. If you've made 500%, take it. Why would you not take it? I'm not, I, I, you know, I, that's that's what I would say. And anyway, uh, that's how I've made my money. That's why I'm, I am up from five thousand to seventy five thousand dollars. You know, I've got no options. I've got no shorts, and I'm making money. So you know, making money, you never lose making money, right? Profitability the score, uh, uh, profit, profitability score of Fisker is twenty six percent. It's still really really bad. Solvency twenty five percent. You know, it's it's it's. Um, effectively bankrupt and it uh, very likely will go bankrupt. However, it just might not and it might go all the way back up to its intrinsic value. Who knows? But the point is, you don't know. It's gambling. It's gambling. Why would you not take the profit at this stage, make your profit and then reassess uh, on the way up? That's what I would be doing. That's, I mean, this isn't financial advice, but that's just good common sense, in my opinion. Unless you just don't care, you're all in and you're riding it all the way up, then uh, just be prepared. It could go right back down because people are ready and eager to take profits along the journey. Wall Street, I mean, look at the targets. You've got huge Wall Street targets, 3,559 at the lowest level, 10,142 at the average and 30,000 at the highest. Look at this. God donated $5 a super chat on extra. Ooh. Martin, you should put a front view of you in a mini window on the extra channel. Otherwise, it's more of just a radio channel during the show. Okay, go DB. Thank you very much indeed. This is being made. That was a super chat on the extra channel. This is the extra channel right there. Okay, I will get to it. I will, uh, I will, um, I will work on that. Fantastic. It is the extra channel. That's cool. They're very nice indeed to get a, a, a live reaction there during the show. F fantastic. So thank you very much, GoDB, and I really appreciate the support for the channel. All the money goes into improving the show and making it better. Uh, looking now at the uh, the inside trading, no one is buying or selling anything, uh, right? No one is buying or selling anything on the inside at the moment. Look at the short interest. 22%. We are in short squeeze territory. We've got enough short interest. Anything above two is when it starts. Uh, however, uh, what you need, um, what you need is a uh, is the volume, and of course, the volume is now coming in as well. Uh, what is the volume? Well, let's go and look at the volume right now. If we see the volume right now, we can see uh, the average volume is uh, 146. We have got, uh, what's the volume today? It's not showing at the moment. We're pre-market at the moment. Let me have a look. Average volume uh, is 149, actually, 149 million. So we're on average... Uh, at the moment already today. So it's not showing on Robinhood, but it is showing over here. Let me share with you. This is very, very good. Volume is good. Volume is increasing. Uh, if it continues like this, anything is 
possible. Anything is possible. Right. But of course, I'm going to share this with you as well. The media are still not talking much about Fisca. If we look here, this is uh, Alpha, Sp uh, Alpha Spread where we do all our reviews and so on. You can see my news is up there from three weeks ago. Uh, it's the latest news that's been picked up for Fisca. Media news, not just um, websites. I'm on about uh, interviews and stuff like that. Fisco was three weeks ago, three weeks ago. You know, my stuff is coming out top because there's still nothing new. Not many people are talking about it at the moment. That's about to change, though, in the next few days. Last 90 days, it was 56% negative. Last 30 days, it's 76% negative. Last seven days, 77% negative. And today, 100% negative. So as you can see, sentiment is getting worse. Uh, so it could be the calm before the storm. That is all I'm suggesting. I don't care what everybody does, but I do care what my members do. I want my members to 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 uh, make some money. Okay, there's 500% profit here if you bought it in at two cents, which is where we where we were covering it. You've made 500%. Why would you not take it? And that's all I'm suggesting. Okay, there we go. There's my update with Fisker this morning. Very very exciting. We will keep you updated uh, if we get an earnings. And one of my members uh, uh, does a super chat and says, "Can you cover the earnings?" I absolutely will. Uh, so that's coming up. Uh, and of course, if we get the um, the live uh, presentation from Henrik Fisker with regarding to the vote, we'll cover all of that. We'll cover everything live uh, for you. Keep me updated. Click above your head, click above my head for all the links, down below in the description, and over here you'll find more information. We are live 12 hours a day on the Extra channel. That runs here. Go and check that out, all right? Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.